Big thanks to George Parrish and son Skip Hire of Manchester who've supported me on this trip. So today's match day vlog comes from here in New York City where later City will play Liverpool. It's the second of two pre-season friendlies here in the United States of America. I'm thinking that it'll be a tough game. Liverpool seem to have a stronger squad here than we have. Um, they are obviously a real bogey for City so it would be nice to do one over them but I'd be surprised. But it's, a, it's at the end of the day, it's a kickabout, and um, it's all about the players getting fit. Bernardo's now arrived, so that's good. Um, saw him yesterday, had my picture with him with the Premier League trophy. Um, Lucas Nemetra as well. And uh, we'll have a reasonable side out, but I think it will be a tough challenge if Liverpool play all their players. Sorry, Chicago. Yeah, I think one or two of uh, hopefully Bernardo, Sane, a couple of the first teamers that are out there might get a chance. But result wise, if I'm honest, I think Klopp will put the first team out. Uh, so I'm not looking at the result, I'm looking at performances rather than the result. <laughs> Really impressed with the way they've done it, Manchester City in New York, and I'm also a big supporter of the women. So I love what they've done with the women's team. We follow them. I take my daughter now to England to go to the women's game, and then we go to the men's. But I take her to see the girls play first. The facilities are brilliant. I'm pro women football coaching, kids playing as many girls are whisking in the game, and I love what City's doing. I want to set that up in Montreal. So many girls are playing. It's the number one growing sport now around the world. So we gotta get these girls playing and we gotta get them as a city fan. So yeah. But yeah, of course. Mike and I used to work match days together. I think you'll play, uh, you'll play a slightly stronger side, but the, the young lads did well against Borussia Dortmund, you know. And it, it, you see how the Germans tried so hard because he had four people booked. So let's just say that it's going to be a tough game, but you know, the, it's a great experience for them. That's what it's all about. For the young kids, brings them up. That's what life's about. We'll do what we'll do right. How's it going, Dickie? You had to get that glass of wine on the other day. Fantastic, <laughs> loving it. And it's New York compared to Chicago. Uh, New York's been great. You know, I've been lucky enough to be here uh, quite a few times with the club. And um, yeah, again, Chicago, whether it was Houston last year, LA, Nashville, and now in New York, the fans are absolutely fantastic. Liverpool have a massive contingent in New York. I think you, you might come here when they're playing in Yankee Stadium. It's like ninety percent of the stadiums. You know, it's all Liverpool fans. So, but we've grown a lot now. Hopefully, you know, we'll have twenty percent of the fans now. But um, you know, it, it should be good. It's interesting, but. Obviously, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Like, they, you know what? If they beat us today, you can have to brag him nice if we batter him over the season. I'm happy with that. Like, it's a special view in the next one, of course. Um, not so much. I mean, obviously, uh, marketing wise, it's, it's not good to get beat uh, any time by Liverpool, and especially with the, the hoodoo of the last few games. Uh, it'd be nice to, to sneak a win today, but it's not the end of the world if we don't. Uh, as long as Pep and the boys get a business done on the field, good to go in the, in the season. A bit unfortunate that it's a World Cup year. Uh, not a lot of the stars are going to be present. Happy to see Sané though. Uh, but it should be interesting seeing the uh, the young players that are coming up, see what the academy is producing. So uh, it should be good. I think the way it's gone the last couple of seasons, they're closer to us now at the moment than United. And we've had a couple of dodgy games against them. Yeah, they you know, this year. And they've beat us a few times now. So, yeah, it's getting a bit spicy, and I hope that we beat them. I got nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a pretty face. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Montreal. So how is it like being a City fan in Montreal? There's not that many. <laughs> They're usually surrounded a lot by French people, so they don't follow the Premier League team that much. But you've got Benjamin Mendy now to support. I know, I know. <laughs> That's what I was telling to my all my colleagues are French. I was like, oh yeah, I know him. <laughs> He's on my team. <laughs> so we're waiting in line to see the trophies. Uh, this is somebody's seventh birthday present. He's getting to see his favorite uh, his favorite team for the first time ever. And so, are you excited? 
And are you excited to get your photo taken with the uh, the trophies? What players do you hope to see tonight? Uh, Joe Hart, Bravo, Sané, Mares, and Silva. Uh, you think Bernardo? Yeah. And what about what about your friend that you met yesterday? Patrick? Oh yeah. Patrick Roberts. That he he really liked meeting Patrick Roberts yesterday, so. They're gonna win. Are they gonna win tonight? What's the score? Three nothing. Three to nothing. We have a confident city fan. Hope you're right. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. I think it's an authentic feel to it. It's not perfect weather, but I like it. It's good. You're in the queue here next to United. Yeah. United! <laughs> we don't know. Him. Him. We don't know. Him. We don't know. Him. But tell me your cousins so you have to put up What's that? Tell me your cousins so you have to put up with Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're cousins, but, you know. Yeah, just on the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, this in 2018 is called the MetLife Stadium. It was, of course, Giant Stadium many moons ago, and many moons ago, back in 1979, I came here as a spectator, as a kid, really, to watch one of my heroes, Dennis Stewart, playing for the New York Cosmos. It was in the New North American Soccer League, and it was, at the time, great, because there were 60,000 people here. Pelé had made New York Cosmos famous. Stewart and Franz Beckenbauer played in that game, one or two other stars as well, of course, meant that there was a suggestion the football was going to become very popular in North America. Still, the hoping to make it popular, and tonight, I suppose, they're hoping for the same sort of crowd 60,000. Let's see that number turn out. But let me tell you a little story. I actually came here for a nine o'clock kickoff as a naive teenager without accommodation for the night. So, when the game finished at 11, I sat here on this probably this level in this sort of seating here, and I actually sat here, sort of looking really at a map or something. And a very kind steward came to me and said, well, first of all, he said, you've got to get out of the stadium. And I said, I haven't got anywhere to go, really, because I'm looking for a hotel. So he very kindly said to me, just go up the whatever, I-5 or something like that. And I said, well, that's OK, but I haven't got a car. And he went, what? And then he said, listen, just stay here and I'll give you a lift. He was a student, he was about my age, in this beat-up Volkswagen of the old type, the Beetle, he gave me a lift, we went about 10, 11 miles till we found a roadside a hotel, a motel, and he went in and checked it was okay, went to the room with me, checked it was okay, then gave me his number, his mum's number, and couldn't have been more helpful. <laughs> when I look back on it now, I think, how did I survive that, how could I get away with it? But I did, I'm still here, back in the rain this time, it was boiling up that night, at the now MetLife Stadium, giant stadium to watch City, against Liverpool on a pitch that looks a little bit threadbare there after Taylor Swift was here in concert in the rain for a couple of days at the weekend. But let's see what happens. City against Liverpool. I've been here a few times. I've been here for Bruce Springsteen concerts. And what about Manchester City playing here tonight? You've obviously uh, aligned yourself to City. Well, I've, I've, uh, I've, I've surrendered to my son tonight. I would typically be wearing a different colored jersey. Why are you wearing a <laughs> City shirt then? I'm a big City fan. What's your city fan? Um, I kind of got into soccer like 2009 and they were the big club at that time. They were fun to watch, just high scoring team. So, kind of bandwagon y, but I'm a fan now. So, good. Right team. What color shirt would you have worn then? You don't want to know. No, we don't. <laughs> Enjoy the game. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Well, that was pretty much the same side that started the first game against Chicago and I thought they did very well in the first half. First 30 minutes or so, I thought they were the better side, had better chances, a couple of penalty shouts. Liverpool towards the end of the first half looked slightly better, but so far so good. Very good, youthful side which Pep has kept faith with and actually quite impressed. we got a young squad, we're, we're doing well out there. I mean, what can you expect? All our World Cup players are, we're not, we're not here, so I mean, you know, we're doing what we can. Phil Foden's doing well. Claudio Bravo's trying to do what he can. I mean, my girl loves Joe Hart. She's ready for Joe Hart to come in. She's disappointed he's not there. One of my best friends is right behind you. He's a Liverpool fan. It's unfortunate for me, but um, 
it's it's been a good it's been a good half. I think personally, City were the better team for the first half hour. Yeah, we we're, we're trying to play a good offensive, good offensive game, trying to work it around and everything. You know. You're optimistic to win it, then. They bring the big guns. Optimistic to win it tonight. I'm not sure. They have a couple stronger players going, but um, yeah, I think we can do it. I think we can. They can take this one, as we said earlier. Take this one. We'll take them in the league all day long. They're not. They're most of it. They looked a bit different when they bought Salah on. We, we're not, we don't have any players on the pitch. I mean, like, we'll, we'll batter them in the league. Batter them. And that's, you know what? Everyone walks off the pitch nice and good. 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 Nice and easy. That's it. Round it. So many people are coming out to watch Man City play against Liverpool. Everyone's here supporting the team, even though they're not full squads out here. But everyone's getting what they want out of it. It's just supporting the club, being here, travelling fans, good time. The ref just seemed to be against us, as it always seems to be against us when we play this band of scum, this, this horrible team. But you know what? We're here with, the, we're with our friends. Hey, New York Sky Blues! Come on, say hi! We're here with our friends, we're here with our family. We had a good time. And you know what? This season's coming up. The Charity Shield is coming up. It's going to be a good year. It was very exciting to see the New York talent. I mean, we knew that this was going to be overwhelming in Liverpool because like, they don't know what they're talking about and they don't know what they're doing. But um, I don't know, it was good. It was good. This is nothing. This is just a warm up. Just getting our legs warmed up. You know, it's like, come on. In a couple of weeks, this will be nothing. Never. But I'm so glad that like City came and dare I say Liverpool came to give like a lot of fans opportunities because a lot of fans don't get a chance to see like you know this level of footy played. So this is pretty amazing. So yeah, they played almost their full squad, and we had kids on the pitch because all of our all of our key players are coming back from the World Cup and they're exhausted. So we played the kids that kind of want to prove themselves. And they did a, a good job. But you know what? I would like to see what is, what's going to happen in a couple of weeks when we actually get on the pitch. Yeah, they won, but it's a friendly. Don't get excited. I mean, you know, we, we, they, we lost a couple of their preseason games last year too and look how well we did. So I think we're gonna be fine. We're totally gonna be fine. I thought it was better than expected. Disappointed not to get a win, but the kids look really good. I liked you know Garcia looked really class. Um, nice to see Gomez. I don't know, I mean people get really psyched about these games but really they're just like training exercises. So I think it was good to see the youth. I think it made a big difference when Sane came on and uh, Salah. I think those two injected a lot of um, energy and class into the game and um, it was a good night out, it was a good night out and we're going to hang around now and see if they come around and do like a little bit of a warm down and maybe see if Pep turns up and say hi, it's great. What do you think? Patrick Roberts looked despondent, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Just sort of like waving his hands around on the left wing the whole night. Foden could have looked up on a couple of those crosses as well. Oh my god, But I'm picking nits. jeez. Picking nits. I thought they looked great. Other than that, great energy. No, it was good, to be serious, they were, yeah. they were fine. So in the end, City lost it by two goals to one, a penalty right at the end, a very strange decision, by the way, because the referee tried to let play on and then gave the penalty, bit odd that. But I have to say that Liverpool were much better in the second half, particularly when Mane and Salah came on. Lots of threat, lots of pace. And City's young team, I thought, really played well and showed that they weren't frightened of Liverpool. Uh, and there are some really positive signs about some of the individuals uh, in that team. So, onwards and upwards, City move on to Miami now. I'll be travelling down there, of course, as well. Uh, and thanks for subscribing, if you'll do that on the YouTube channel, I appreciate it. Uh, and I will see you again in Miami, where hopefully, instead of raining, the sun will be shining. See you next time.